Well, well, well. Nintendo made an oopsie when it comes to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Of course, now that the game is out in public and all this jazz, more and more things are being discovered. Uh, and you would figure, hey, look, if they're just like straight ports being emulated, what can there really be discovered? Well, what if I told you that Nintendo left something in the game that was never intended to be seen by anyone? It's actually specifically for developers. Let's get into that after I remind you that we are giving away three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Go down in the description to find out how to win that. We are also giving away a Switch Lite and two games of choice. Again, go down in the description to find out how to win that. Winners will all be announced, six total winners, on October 1st. And then we'll be kicking off our next 50,000 celebration giveaway. All right. So... Here's what's happening, folks. I don't even have my video that's already done fully uploaded yet before this news hit because this is something that I really want to talk about. You guys know we've been talking about basically anything involving Super Mario 3D All-Stars from release all the way to issues to praising to defending to arguing about whether reviews should be reviewing things a certain way. But this is something that I find very, very interesting. And I don't know if you can call it inexcusable, but there's like two sides to the coin on this one. And... This is that there is debug cubes left in the Switch version of the game. So, what are debug cubes? Well, you're seeing them on screen right now. They are those gray cubes uh, that appear along with the red and blue platforms in the bonus levels. Now, this is interesting. This is very, very interesting because these bonus levels are part of Super Mario Sunshine, and these debug cubes are not supposed to be present. The only time they've ever shown up in any capacity are when certain versions of Dolphin were running. Now, Dolphin is an emulator you can run on your PC, so when certain versions of Dolphin emulator were running Super Mario Sunshine, uh, you would see these debug cubes, but it was actually not present on the GameCube. So this was discovered... Uh, by Cutting Room Floor and obviously other people posting on Twitter and elsewhere that have now bumped into it now that they've gotten to the secret levels in Super Mario Sunshine. And, you know, if you didn't know there were secret levels, sorry, now you do. I'm not going to tell you how to get there. Uh, but uh, what's very, very interesting is that this was discovered uh, by uh, a Twitter user goes, goes at P Jiggles, uh, confirmed with data miner Oatmeal Dome that these are specifically because the game is being emulated and Nintendo didn't bother to edit it out. Now, when it was originally put up, the user did not mean any ill intent or to call Nintendo lazy. They said this is kind of like a neat, fun fact about this version of the game versus the original release. Um, you know, and he goes on to say, you know, in Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you can see the debug cubes in Super Mario Sunshine in the secret Dirty Lake stage, which only previously showed up in unofficial emulations of the game, like on Dolphin Emulator. They didn't show up in the GameCube original. Uh, and then he goes on to say, in the secret stages, there are gray debug cubes, which represent the past for the red, blue, and multicolored cube platforms that are normally invisible when using EFB. However, they become visible when played in some versions of Dolphin Emulator. Uh, and in fact, this because of this discovery... This has been amended to the official Mario Sunshine page on NintendoLife.com. Presumably due to imperfect graphic emulation, these cubes were visible in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. All right, so what does this mean? Well, to some people, show them on screen here, um, they're pretty upset because this collection was already being lambasted by some people because of Nintendo's poor efforts. And this says, I played Sunshine on my Dolphin emulator before and I saw those too. This collection is so beyond lazy. This other person goes on to say, I don't think gray debug cubes is a petty thing, especially for a $60 collection. Nintendo literally has a seal of quality, so they should be better than that. Hopefully it'll get patched or whatever. So what some of these people are saying, and to be fair, a lot of others, is that Nintendo shouldn't let something like this slip by. It is a known issue with emulation with this game, and Nintendo should be going into the game and fixing it before a public release. But, of course, there's people defending it. Some of you guys might be defending it right now before you even finish, uh, with other fans saying, and I'm honestly shocked at how well Sunshine runs considering how little time it was in development. Again, it's rumored to be about six months of development time on this. Uh, and then this one says, I just played this level and I didn't even notice 
honestly, it made the level way more bearable. So again, it's kind of a give or take. Some people view this as a really cool fact, a really cool Easter egg, kind of a, hey, look, this is something that's different from, from the original release. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, people, some people are angry because, hey, look, they're looking for any reason to be angry for starters. And two, it does show that Nintendo ignored a commonly known issue with emulation of Sunshine that Nintendo themselves, with their seal of quality, should be fixing. Um, in my opinion, I do tend to lean a little bit towards agreeing with people that are being critical of this uh, because, yes, this is an official release from Nintendo. This was a known issue with emulation. Nintendo knew they were going to be emulating these games. It should have been one of the first things patched when they were going through the files to HD the game. Uh, and they didn't do it. They did other things. They made other little minor tweaks in the code and all this, but they, for some reason, did not go in and fix the debug stuff. It's, it's a little baffling. Nintendo potentially will release a patch, of course. You know, we're in an age where things can be patched. So Nintendo could release a patch here quite quickly, to be honest. It is something that people have been able to patch out themselves through emulation. So Nintendo should be able to patch it out. But uh, it, it's very interesting that it got left in the game as it, it was a well-known bug that should have been taken care of uh, before public release. So it would have been different if Nin, you know if Nintendo didn't make this game and this was like a fan collection pack that pulled this off. But Nintendo did this. Nintendo took emulators, whether they're made in-house or otherwise, and didn't double check on a bug that is commonly known to occur with emulation. Now, we can argue maybe Nintendo doesn't know as much about emulation, but, I mean, this is a video game company. They probably know more about emulation than even the people who make emulators. Uh, but, I don't know, that's just me. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Is this a big deal? Do you even care? If you don't care, okay, fine. I guess we move on with our day. But, uh, personally, I, I do find this to just be kind of interesting. It doesn't ruin the game. It doesn't make Sunshine a bad game. It kind of makes the levels a little bit easier in some ways. But it doesn't ruin anything. It's more so just kind of showing that Nintendo didn't pay as much attention as they should have. They probably didn't even check out the secret levels before they released the game. Um, just being completely honest. Since they were emulating these, I'm not sure they had people play all the way through the game um, to find this kind of stuff. But I, I, I don't want to make that presumption. Maybe it's intentionally left in, and Nintendo said, screw it, it's not a big deal, nobody's going to care. Well, I mean, some people are caring right now, Nintendo, so... <sighs> It is what it is, folks. What am I going to do? Anyways, uh, that's it. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, interesting video. I might have one more video on 3D All-Stars, but it's a positive video. Um, a very positive video, in fact. We'll see if that one ends up coming out today. It might be one that, that I push to tomorrow. I got a lot of crazy stuff going on the rest of the day with the kids. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have been awesome. You guys have made my week. And, man, thank you each and every one of you for tuning into this channel for getting us to 50,000. Let's hit that road to 100K. Remember, folks, we hit 100,000 before next year. We have a massive giveaway, the biggest giveaway I've ever done, period, in the month of January if we hit 100,000 with 100 winners, over $1,000 worth of stuff. It's going to be crazy. Catch you guys in the next video.